In this video, I will be explaining how single dominant epistasis works. To do this, we will be looking at how sharp color is inherited. In single dominant epistasis, the capital A genotype results in a repressor that prevents conversion of the precursor to the intermediate. So for color in sharks, the capital A is epistatic to B. So having a capital A will result in a gray shark no matter what the B locus is. If there are no capital A's in the genotype, then a capital B will result in the brown intermediate for sharks. And if there are also no capital A's and no capital B's, so you are homozygous recessive for both genes, then you can get the blue end product for the sharks. So here we have a heterozygous cross for a single dominant epistasis. So as you can see here, all of the genotypes with a capital A allele are the gray color found in sharks. This is because the capital A cancels out the B gene. So it does not matter what the B gene is, if there is a capital A, it will be gray. So we have nine genotypes that are capital A with a capital B and three that are a capital A with a lowercase b's. So these two add up to create 12. Then we have three brown phenotypes in sharks, which are the lowercase a's with one or two capital b's. And then when we get homozygous recessive, that is when we are able to get that blue phenotype in sharks. So when we do a heterozygous cross for single dominant epistasis, we will get a 12 to 3 to 1 ratio. Another example for single dominant epistasis with a Punnett square would be crossing capital A lowercase a with two lowercase b's and two lowercase a's with a capital B and a lowercase b. So as you can see here, all of the offspring that would inherit the capital A gene are all going to be that gray color because the capital A cancels out any other trait that could show up. So this time we have four with the capital A and the capital B, and four with the capital A with two lowercase b's, and that, those add up to make gray. We are getting four brown phenotypic sharks this time. As you can see, we have the four capital B's here with the lowercase a's to go with them. And we also get four blue phenotypes for the sharks with the homozygous recessive for all four traits. And this cross will leave us with an 8 to 4 to 4 ratio.